no, Vector. Although it doesn't make sense why he's there. I guess they just they couldn't think where to put him. Since we already had SBO at Seaside Hill. Anyways, we're going into our next stage. Oh, look at that! I just realized the text is fixed. So that's great. Alright, and we are in Rooftop Run from Sonic Unleashed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let me just go back. Just go back. I saw that story. Let me go get it. And there we go. So I'm also gonna take the top route, because that's the best route. Ooh, that was close. And we just got a second red star there. Okay, it's not in there. I thought there was a, maybe a red star ring in there. I may have 100% this game like three times, make this the fourth with this playthrough. But I've never had to, um. I never remembered where the red star ring could be placed. Like, sometimes I don't even remember certain missions. <laughs> That's another thing. Okay, that was number three, I think. Uh, I, I, I honestly love playing Rooftop Run. I mean, Sonic Unleash had the boost in it, and since modern Sonic has the boost, this stage was practically made for it. Granted, that could be said for the other modern Sonic stages. But. Since this originated from a boost game, it makes sense to say it that way. Alright, so that was our fourth, now we just need to get one more. And I think I know just where to find it. At the very end of the stage. Hey, look at that, it recreates that famous bit in the top round, which is the quick step. Although, what I realize right now is that we're not doing so much rooftop running. It's mainly on the streets. Shouldn't this be called street? The bottom street run? I have no idea if anyone's ever made that joke. If anyone has, then... Damn, I'm no, I'm no original. Now, normally in Unleash, you would have to hit the robots Twice. I don't think I even got the... I don't think I even got the... Ring then. Maybe I did, we'll see. When I get to the end of this. Anyways, the cool thing is you can still hit these robots and they'll like launch out like a bunch of rings for you to collect. Although I can barely pick them up whenever I'm here. So it's kind of uh, a lucky chance or something. Anyways, we did a pretty good run. Although I did lose my rings. Alright, let's see. Oh, we did get that red star ring. Sweet. Huh. I didn't think I could do that with a rooftop run. Since I've never had it before. So I got our work 68, 69, dudes. 70, 71, 72. And trick mastery. Oh, I think that's the one that makes me do tricks, like, really quickly, so I can get, like, more of a boost gauge. That's cool. Alright, now we're doing the classic Sonic version. Alright, here we go. Ooh, that was close. Now, um... I'm, I'm just gonna say, this is my favorite classic Sonic stage in the modern era. Simply just cause... I, I really like what they do with this. They they think outside of the box and include things that you wouldn't think they would do for a, a reimagining of Unleashed with Classic Sonic. Granted, that could be said for what they did with Crisis City, but this one this one does it better. And it's a shame that we this is probably the best level in the modern era for Classic Sonic. And then the next level we play with the Classic Sonic, it's the weakest. Like, like how do you how do you go from this high up to something that's not really good? 
Okay, be careful with this. I'm gonna time this just right. I got it. First try. Okay, so we have two. Oh, and speaking of speaking of that area we just did with the springs, if you if I had the electric shield equipped, I could do a glitch with the electric shield stump double jump. It's really funny. Okay, maybe to some it's not funny, but others it's pretty funny. Um, basically it allows you just to clip through outside of the level and even go into like a 3D space with Classic Sonic. So you'd be playing as Classic Sonic in 3D. And as long as you spin dashed in a 2D section, you'd be good to not mess up a, a spin dash in 3D. Since we haven't had a spin dash in 3D since Sonic 06. And, um, okay, we did have another game with a spin dash later down the line, but as, as of this point, Generation, Generations was the next game to get the spin dash since Sonic 06. No, I messed it up. Dang it. Alright. Yep, that's probably where a red star ring was, so I might have to backtrack again. I definitely know the next level I'm gonna have to backtrack because I'm not gonna be able to get all the rest of the rings and those in one go. Probably make the recording session last longer than this was. Oh, dang it. Anyways, so this is another part of the level. But basically, these robots, they're just gonna shoot lasers at you and then you just have to avoid them, of course. Ah, oh, man! There we go. Ah. Uh, was there a red star? I don't think there is, maybe? I don't know. What have I just done? I think I'm just trying to play with the physics. Oh, the platform just reappeared. But we won't need it. Alright, I think there's a red star ring around here, so I'm gonna go get that. There it is. And that's the last one. Okay, so maybe I won't need to... Oh! Ooh, I know what to do. Oh, no, 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 no! That's not what I wanted to do. Just take these platforms, take the spring, dodge that, and... Ah! There we go. Ah, look at that, I just got inside the hole that I'm supposed to go into. <laughs> And it does that. It opens the clock door and it allows us to hit this Eggman ship and we can like cause an explosion. I don't know if that's a reference to anything. I feel like just doing the clock thing itself was a reference to an old Japanese Sonic ad for the original Sonic 1. Wait, did I die in this level? Okay, maybe I just took too long. Alright, so I'm just gonna have to backtrack it again. But hey, look at that, we got the color back. And now we have saved Vector, the crocodile. Did anyone notice that his eye was just glowing then? Thanks, Sonic. You know, I got a hunch someone or something is controlling that monster. <laughs> I always like it when Classic Sonic does that. Someone has to be behind all of this. We gotta take them out, Sonic. The interesting thing is, is that the dialogue that we heard from Vector in the Saving Vector cutscene, that's the same uh, dialogue I think he says for Modern Sonic, so... Yeah, I guess they can think of anything, so anyways. Oh, work 73, I think it was. Windmill Isle today. Artwork 74, 75, 76, and a long spin dash. So it makes the spin dash even more powerful than it already is. Alright, now if you excuse me, I need to go backtrack and get the S rank. Alrighty, so let's see, did I get the S rank this time? Yes, I did, along with a better time and such. Sweet. 
Alright, so that's that done. Now let's go to our final level from the modern era before we do the missions. And this one's a more recent stage in terms of when this game was released. 